Hello everyone. Thank you for joining. Thank you, Oyan. Thank you. We'll just uh, wait for some more viewers to join, and then we'll start. are doing great thank you thank you we'll just wait for some more just two or more minutes and then we'll start just for i think three more minutes to be exact and then we'll also get our guest in today <clears throat> thank you thank you all for joining just give us just one more minute and we'll be starting the session you go you guys are aware that we are having a very special guest today so just two more minutes will wait and we will start thank you thank you hello Hello everyone. Thank you for joining in guys. Thank you so much. We'll be just starting in uh, under one minute. Thank you, Usiner. Thank you so much. Just one more minute, guys, and then we'll start. Just a minute. Hello, hello, Pranju. Thank you for joining in. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Pranju. So, <clears throat> a very warm welcome, guys. Uh, thank you for joining in. I hope you all are doing great. Uh, times are tough right now and we all are trying to overcome from this pandemic uh, just uh, to reiterate one thing that please please uh, take care and take the preventive measures uh, laid down by the government and uh, be safe because we are all struggling we'll definitely overcome uh, this pandemic eventually and so to start the show uh, an achievers chronicle with Angshuman. So, the entire idea of the show is to bring or spread a word of positivity from our show, and also to actually get you know the know the stories of our achievers who actually have been battling negativity in their own lives and who have uh, overcome all those difficulties. So, uh, thank you all for joining in. We'll uh, have our guest very soon and uh, I hope you guys like it and you already know who our uh, guest for tonight is, uh, Shistrina Hazarika, 
who uh, have started her own venture recently, uh, Love Soap by Trina. So we'll get to know her part of the story, how she has actually used or capitalized the entire uh, time of the pandemic and actually created something very positive. So I'll just get her in. Hello, Trina. Hi. Hi, Anshuman. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. How have you been? I have been doing good. Thank you for asking. So, uh, how have you been coping with this pandemic? Well, I'm trying to stay as positive as I can and trying to stay calm, accepting the current situation, which is very difficult and very challenging for everyone. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, utilizing every bit of the time in the best possible way, spending a lot of good time with my family. And uh, yeah, and of course, my heart goes out to the family, uh, you know, who lost the loved ones. And, uh, and I so pray and hope that all this gets over soon. Correct, correct, correct. And you know, this pandemic has actually brought a lot of things out. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, start, starting from, you know, I think even I have tried a lot of things, uh, maybe creating a new hobby. Or something, you know, I still remember I start last uh, time the lockdown happened, uh, I, I started cooking. But I failed mm -hmm. a different thing. But mm -hmm. I'm, so if you did uh, on this uh, pandemic time or, you know, you created something that is different. Mm -hmm. So um, it uh, took a lot of courage. I gathered a lot of courage to do this. Firstly, um, I'm very positive by nature and I always look positivity around me. And I dared to dream, you know. Uh, so it's all about a dream and it's all about you willing to make it, uh, uh, you know, come into reality. So, um, so I think, uh, yes, so I think, and, and I'm a true believer of myself. And, uh, you know, I tried and gave all my efforts to make it happen, irrespective of the circumstances that's going on. Uh, that'll always happen. That'll always happen. And then, uh, you know, I'm trying my best to uh, keep it going. And uh, yeah, so I think it's, uh, it's all about self-confidence. And um, uh, thankfully, I have it in me and I'm trying to uh, keep the show on. Amazing, amazing. And, you know, like, uh, obviously, Love Soap by Trina is a byproduct of pandemic. So mm -hmm. it else that you tried, like maybe something else that you made, you know, you try, you're still trying to get, you know, inculcate that habit or something. Uh, of course, yes. So I love painting. Okay. And, uh, you know, um, I tried painting and I had a picture in my mind and I tried painting. So um, before this pandemic happened, and even, even in fact uh, now, so what I do is, uh, you know, I get so excited and open the painting box because I love colors, you know, and I tried painting. I had a picture in my mind and then, you know, it turned out to be something else. And I, it was so funny to look at. And in fact, I had one of the paintings even framed uh, in my house when I had visitors, they came and looked, looked at it and they said, what the hell is this? You know, so I failed miserably and I laughed over it uh, so that's one of the hobbies that I took up and I failed and uh, and, I, and I think I'm going to cherish this forever and I'll still continue to paint as one of the hobbies that keeps me happy really happy so yeah. um, uh, so maybe not something that I'm looking at in terms of perfection but I think I find happiness doing that so yeah so I, I think I'll continue doing that definitely, definitely. amazing actually and so you know you come from a very small town I believe I think uh, Dumduma I think uh, yeah. even I at the same place. But, you know, whenever I used to tell my friends about Dumduma, I come from Dumduma, they don't even know. So from yeah. 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 to actually delivering your products all over India, how mm -hmm. have the journey been throughout? It has been an incredible journey and uh, so much to learn. And I've learned so, uh, so many things. And I, and I always say to myself, every day is, uh, you know, is a new learning. So um, I think I, I am someone who's very open to exposure. You know, I have, uh, I always, so, so when I was a kid, you know, I always wanted to do something of my own. So it was a very, very vague vision that I had in my mind. And then, uh, you know, eventually this happened that I, I took up courage and I thought, you know, why not get into, uh, you know, soap making something which I really wanted to do. And my, uh, and I really believed in, I started uh, with this uh, intention to spread my wings. You know, I was not only looking at uh, limiting my thoughts only to Hyderabad, 
because I come from a very small town, like you said. Um, by the way, Dunduma is one of the most beautiful places in Assam. I think viewers, you should uh, you know take out time and visit to this place. So we are surrounded by tea gardens and natural beauty. So um, and then so my intention was to reach out to people all over India. I was not limiting myself to only this particular city that I'm at. So before Hyderabad, I was in Bangalore. I've had enough uh, exposure and experience, uh, you know, to say that I think I can uh, really do this. I did a lot of research and a lot of, uh, you know, uh, trial and error that happened. So, so I think, uh, you know, it gives me immense pleasure to let you know that I have had clients who ordered my products from small little towns, which I myself never heard about. Yeah. So, 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 so I think uh, somewhere, um, uh, I think uh, it gives me a platform to kind of think beyond this. So okay. hopefully I might go international if um, everything goes well, but I'm just trying to uh, make myself happy first and then I'm sure rest everything goes with the flow. Amazing, amazing. So uh, like Love Soap, obviously it's mm -hmm. something new. Uh, I think when I saw your products and everything, I, I used and it's amazing products. Mm -hmm. you're doing. Thank so, you very much. Uh, what made this love soap happen? All right. Um, I think it all started from a dream, like a small dream. And then I always uh, had this intention to make it into the reality, like I said. And then, um, you know, uh, when, when I was a kid, I was someone, and I still am, very conscious about skin. I was always driven towards this natural products. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I always keep saying to myself, you know, I want to do something to support this cause of handmade products. And how can I do that? So this has been going on on my mind for quite a long time. And then, um, you know, a, a lot of self-evaluation that happened. Can I do this? Uh, you know, um, a word of mouth that, you know, uh, of course, really helps when you say that, you know what, support handmade products. But I really wanted to do something. And then, um, and then I also wanted to reach out to people to let them know that handmade products can also be good looking. You know, when you look at cosmetic products, they're, they're very, they're very nice to look at and you so want to buy them. So, yeah. um, so I had this intention to come up with this new concept of handmade products, which would look good and you enjoy using them and you would uh, really want to give them to someone, you know, so, so I also came up with all this whole idea of gift hamper boxes. So, uh, so yeah, so all that started from a dream and then I thought, why not, uh, you know, make it into reality and start working on it. So, so it all started from a dream, I would say that. Amazing, amazing, Tina. And I think I'm loving it because I saw all your uh, and I actually, I think, I think I've heard a new name. I think uh, I have never heard it. I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. So, so what, that's how. Happened. Yeah, so how exactly that idea came? Because I have never seen in the market, I think, uh, that particular product. So how that yeah. thing happened? So, uh, so my whole tagline says raising the bar, right? Correct. So when I say raising the bar, I'm kind of not limiting myself only to a soap bar, you know? So I thought, I thought so, so eventually this happened that when I actually got into this whole concept of soap making, a lot of ideas that came, you know, that uh, crossed my mind. And, uh, and then, uh, you know, and I, and I saw people using my handmade products, like, you know, the soap bars, it started with the soap bar, they liked it. And then I thought, why not think of something extraordinary, something that uh, people would really want and would like to try. So this whole whip soap is a com uh, completely different concept. It's a very creamy in texture, uh, you know, of a soap. And so my intention is to come up with a product that can actually replace the cosmetic products you use. So, oh, yeah. so you, uh, so there are a lot of customers in the market. They really don't go with uh, uh, only a soap bar. You know, not many of them are soap users. There are a lot of people who likes to use char gel. So yeah. I kind of opened my doors, and you know, I was open to opportunities where I can have options where people have a lot of varieties to choose from. They said so if they look at the soap bar, they're like, it's it's really nice, but I am not a soap user. I use, uh, you know, shower gels. So I thought, why not come up with such idea where it will help people to replace such cosmetic products? So, Amazing. yeah, and uh, it just happened. Amazing. And I think I, when I saw a product, I was like, oh my God, this is something very new. And very, it, it looks so beautiful. And to be honest. It does. So, it does. so that, that is when I was trying to uh, say that natural products can actually look like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Correct, correct. So uh, from this... Uh, 
like suppose nowadays you know like when i was in my uh, mid school or something like that we all have teams or hobby in our mind maybe like uh, i'll just tell you suppose i want i want to become a cricketer which i always wanted in right. and mm-hmm. following the years when i joined graduation you know somewhere those uh, things changed and uh, mm-hmm. i thought of doing an mba and now i am doing a job so that things changed so did you have anything in your mind uh, of an being an entrepreneur when you were uh, on your uh, mid school or you know during school days something like that um an honest answer no i never thought okay. i will end up uh, you know being an entrepreneur but uh-huh. i always had this goal in my mind i want to do something i want to do something of my own but um, you know having said that uh, i continuously tried uh, doing a lot of research to make it possible so um uh, you know i think ending up being an entrepreneur it's it's it, it, of course it's a privilege but uh, this is something that i never thought of but i had a clear goal in my mind you know a goal a vague goal when i was in my mid school i had a very vague uh, vision in my mind and i didn't know what exactly i'm going to do like you said you wanted to become a cricketer and you know eventually when you grow it is a human tendency that your goals are going to change you know it's never going to remain the way actually you thought of so um but but i was not uh, limiting myself to a particular goal i thought i want to do something of my own number one and number two is i want to support handmade products so i had this two options with me which actually helped me to give birth to love soap okay these two things were there like the, these two things yeah. were amazing absolutely you said a goal i had a clear goal i also had a vision in my mind so the vision keeps changing when your goals keep changing but having said that when you actually have a goal you you'll actually know that all right this is what i want to do uh it might change but i will stay go back and stay uh, work on the goal that i actually thought of amazing so, and one thing that i have seen uh, in today's uh, world because today's world is really distracted because there are so mm-hmm. many simultaneously because you know there is yeah. social media there is a lot of things that have come up and you know which people are so distracted especially the millennials because mm-hmm. uh, they start something but somehow mm-hmm. track of it and they couldn't mm-hmm. come so how i have seen when you started you started with a first of first a normal product and then you are moving to whip whip soaps and everything so what do you think about that it like why this millennials change and how they can actually be stable at something all right so now um you know having a mindset to uh, uh you know accept failure in life you know you should know you will fail not every successful person is success get successful at at once and uh, you know you fail you come back and you try to get pick up from the point where you actually failed is one of the criteria you should look at and uh, you know um, failure actually teaches you uh, resilience right so right. resilience uh, is one of the i've realized this is my uh, understanding resilience is one of the important quality that i've realized most of the successful people have in common you know okay. uh, you having resilient spirit to accept uh, challenges that comes your way and if you if you fail somewhere it doesn't mean you'll stop there okay. evaluate yourself understand where you went wrong what could happen and and of course the, you know uh, acceptance uh, to the all negativity around you like for example this pandemic that's going on it's certainly not giving you positive uh, vibes around right so i think uh, opening your doors to accept all the possibilities around and uh, be resilient is one of uh, something that i would really like to talk about and uh, learn from your failure failure teaches us so many lessons you know and i would always say that failure is one of the stepping stone to your success right if you fail you know you have the capability to learn something from your failure so so it's it. absolutely fine and okay to fail it's absolutely fine so so that's something that i would like to say and going back to your goal setting always remember you want to work on the goal that you've set for yourself set a bar for yourself you might not meet the bar right now but somewhere down the line eventually when you keep working on yourself i'm sure you'll reach there so that is what i really have to you know tell all the viewers and everybody yeah thank you i think it is it is something i think it's more of a personal question it was because even i 
failed uh, when I started uh, an entrepreneurial venture when I was in college, and mm -hmm. I I was distracted also. So now I realize that yeah, when I failed, I couldn't uh, keep it moving. But now Actually. I think you are right, and I think that is what uh, exactly did me to do. So one more thing, you know, you are managing both the things. Now you have started an entrepreneurial venture, and now you are also doing a job. Uh, so even after having a stable job, why love so? All right. So, uh, firstly, I am uh, more than delighted to let you know that I am happily, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, a happy professional working in Salesforce, and uh, you know, it's been a long journey, and I'm many more years to go. I love my job. You know, I honestly love my job, and I enjoy what I'm doing. But having said that, you know, having a stable job doesn't stop you from dreaming, right? So, uh, you know, you should always leave your dream. So this nine to six of regular job that I'm doing, I'm committed to an organization, no matter Got what. It. Nine to Got six, it. or maybe you know, and the times might change for everybody, but I'm just talking about the regular nine to six job. So this nine to six job that I'm committed to an organization, I have to do it because I'm bounded, you know, bounded to do and you know uh, do all the targets that has been given me. I have to make sure that I achieve all the targets. So beyond six, it is about me. It is Got all it. about me. Beyond Correct. six, I should learn how to manage time, find time to do something that I like to do. So when you realize you want to do something that you like, you will always find time. Believe me. So I am, um, you know, managing time equally with my organization. I'm keeping my manager happy. And equally, I am, uh, you know, managing my love soap orders. I'm keeping my clients happy. So how could I do that? Because I'm happy doing my regular job. And I'm happy that I'm leaving something up to myself in terms of self-commitment. So, uh, and, and I always say that, uh, for example, nine to six, after six o'clock, I take a break. You know, I refresh my mind. I go for a walk. I have this very small uh, uh, puppy and I always take him for a walk. I make sure I make my presence felt. So, uh, uh, you know, um, I take him for a walk and I come back. I go back to the self-commitment activity of soap making. Because I, I, I am, uh, you know, have orders that I have to work on. So, so during that time, there's a particular time. So I have a set timetable from Monday to Friday and the weekends. So, so during that time when I'm doing the soap making, I'm enjoying because I like to do that. And okay. after that, I also have this back of my mind. I have to get back, hit the kitchen, cook for my family. I have to make sure I give some time to my family members. And also after all of this activity, I also take out time to browse through YouTube to find new recipes for new dishes. So, wow. so, so on, and then I also call up my mom every day. Uh, and then I speak to her, I speak to my family members, we video call and all of that. Um, so, I, so ultimately, end of the day, what I'm trying to uh, tell is, uh, you know, if you don't know how to manage time, you will never find, find time. So yeah. I think time management is such an important criteria, both in professional and personal life. So I think that it's been one of the criteria that I have always been giving importance to. And right. uh, yeah, yeah, I think once you start uh, realizing what you like to do, you will 100% time, find time for it. Amazing, amazing, Dina. I think, you know, even so many people, so many friends of mine, and even I do sometimes, you know, we uh, somehow complain about our job that we are, Mm -hmm. Like somehow I'm not feeling well, or I'm not don't want to do this, do, do this job, particular job. So that is something you are doing, not only your job, but also mm -hmm. making your time available for other things. So that is actually really, really nice. And I think this is this this is not only inspired every all, all the viewers. I think it has inspired me personally today. So it's amazing. And Thank also you. regarding the you know, as I told you that a lot of people also like in a lot of negativity was there when uh, the entire thing started about pandemic and all. So how did you create a positive mind? Because it's very difficult because when I started, uh, when this lockdown started and I had this journey, it was really difficult for me also to actually handle not going out and you know, somewhere, a lot of negative news spreading all around. And yeah, after absolutely. that, how did you actually manage to remain positive and out of it, create something that is actually, actually helping others? Actually, and actually, an addition to the uh, entire market of soaps. So, how did you do it? Like, how did you keep your mind at, uh, positive way, in a positive way? Um, firstly, I'm a kind of person. Uh, I practice gratitude. Okay, okay. and uh, 
I believe in myself, like I already said. And something which really gives me a lot of positivity, uh, when I speak to my mother, I feel so positive. So it is always advisable that you understand who you speak to and, 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 and figure out the person who you really think will give you positive vibes. Could be anybody, could be your friend, could be your brother, sister, anybody. For me, every time I call up my mom, I feel so positive. You know, and, and that's when I, I am not um, kind of, uh, you know, uh, thinking anything negative at all. And I'm not surrounded by negativity. You know, I am, uh, you know, making sure that I'm surrounded with positivity. And uh, I always make sure that, uh, you know, uh, uh, I don't take things personally when it comes to the circumstances, when it's during this pandemic, we better accept it. Right. So uh, there's nothing we have to move on. We have to move on and we have to accept things positively. Now, when it comes to uh, creating a positive uh, idea through this whole negative uh, circumstances, it's just nothing. But I, I think it's, uh, you know, it's a belief, uh, confidence. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, why not? And when you when you think of an idea, don't care about the circumstances. Because every, every day is challenging. If you have to look at, the, look at this uh, fact of uh, uh, the negative circumstances, you'll never find the right circumstances for you, for yourself. You know, so, so have a you know, uh, timeline set for yourself. This is what I want to do. And I'm planning to do this in five years down the line, two years down the line. Do not care about any other circumstances. As long as you are healthy enough to do that, please go ahead. So do okay. not refrain yourself from not doing it because if you, if you, time waits for no one, you know, so why do we, why do we wait for time? So okay. I always say that, right. And, and this whole pandemic has taught us so many things, so many things, right. If I have to point that out, it's going to be a long list, but something that I have really learned is, you know, it's not all about what you have to do. You have to do is your regular job. You can't help it. You have to do it. Right. But it's, it is also about what you can do. You can do is your side passion. You know, it's something that you can do, but you're not doing it. So, so I think I have chosen to do it and I did it. So, so I think having a very positive mindset works wonders and it did for me. And, uh, you know, like I said, I constantly speak to my mother whenever I feel that I want some positivity around. I speak to her and she gives so much of positivity around. Every time I speak to her and she says, oh, wow, you know, why did you do this? Or why did you do that? Something, you know, like that. So, so um, I, I know who I speak to and who gives me positivity. So, so I think all of this, um, uh, you know, gave me a lot of courage to think about something positive in a very negative circumstances. Also, uh... I think viewers would uh, love to know about Love So. Now let's talk about mm -hmm. Love So. What mm -hmm. is this? You can just tell the viewers ki exactly where to find you and what are the different things and how actually, because as I see, there are a lot of uh, different soaps in the market. Because when I use, I personally use your product, I loved it. But I'll also ask the viewers to see. But the thing is, ki, how Love So happened, obviously, you have told it. But what exactly Love So is about? The products, mm -hmm. how everything. So, can you just tell us about it? How uh... so, so love soap is actually nothing, but it's just a medium. For, it's a product, and I would say it's a medium for people to feel more connected to nature because all these products are made with natural ingredients. And uh, you know, um, so I had this intention in my mind to uh, let people know that you know, uh, natural products are so beneficial for our skin. And in today's time, that we live such an artificial life. You know, when I say artificial life is surrounded with, uh, you know, cosmetic products all around. So, so that was my intention. And, uh, you know, love soap is, um, it's like a baby to me. You know, it's like a human baby to me. I give all my attention to this product. So, so um, love soap is not only about soaps. It is about you as a person falling in love with your skin. You know, not necessarily uh, it has to be a woman or a girl. It can be a man. It can be a father. It can be grandfather. It can be also a baby boy. You know, so, so my intention was to make up, uh, you know, um, uh, to let people feel good when they cleanse their body. You know, when you're cleansing your body, you're cleansing your soul and your mind. So let it happen naturally, right? Yeah. So this natural products are one of this concept that I thought about. To let people connect uh, to the nature and uh, you know feel good about feeling good about natural products 
so and uh, yeah so uh, uh, this is what and where you can find me i have a instagram page where i take orders and uh, i connect to pe- people personally i talk to each of my clients personally understand their requirements and then uh, i make sure that i live up to their expectations i take customized orders as well so um, so instagram facebook or whatsapp or even a call so i am working on a website currently but until then i will have my you know uh, i the client everybody can you know, take a look through my page in instagram that is love soap by trina and in facebook it is named as love soap and i have all my numbers and uh, you know that has uh, been uh, shared in instagram whoever wants can call me whatsapp me as per their convenience so this is what i'm doing right now in your like uh, obviously that's amazing and uh, about love soap so love soap is available in every city right now if i if anyone wants yeah, to yeah it's in all over india okay it's all over india so you also i think i have i've seen a customized uh, product because i think uh, you made on the father's day uh, a customized uh, box where uh, you know according to the wish of the customers that you you uh, produce different different kind of uh, goodies so yes. how yes. like how that's going on uh that's going really nice so uh you know so all of this occasions that we think about uh mm-hmm. i came up with this gift boxes gift hamper boxes where you can uh, give people all of this natural products so this this whole box contains not only love soaps products the bars right it also contains few little goodies candies and all of that so the, the moment when you open the box you, you know you you you're excited about it so in love right. soap uh, so when you order something for yourself i always make sure i include candies to it because me as a customer if i place an order and i get a box filled with candies and the product that i've ordered for i would love it so i i i, I think candy and i ordered and that's amazing <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so that's something that i really like to do because ultimately it's not only about the product itself it can be also the small little candies that can uh, you know add to your happiness as well so Correct. yeah so i'll just ask one more question ki challenges are inevitable right trina like we all face challenges so mm-hmm. what challenges that you faced while bringing mm-hmm. up this uh, entire uh, love soap by trina <clears throat> okay there's so many challenges believe me or not so many challenges that i faced uh, there was a time that i got so many orders and i remember working till 2 o'clock in the morning you know and uh, so so at times it becomes very difficult to manage but something that i could overcome this is uh, you know um i do a lot of self talking you know mm-hmm. when i say self talking you know i talk uh, to myself so i ask what exactly do you want imagine you have about 20 orders in a day making sure that i talk to talk personally to this 20 clients try to understand what they want uh, right. is not easy it's certainly not easy when you have a regular job that's going on my intention is to keep everybody happy right irrespective of whatever situation is so i think um, overcoming this uh, challenge is uh, being honest to yourself you know um in, uh, trying not to make yourself feel better when you know you are in actual you're battling right so 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 when i try to make myself feel better while i'm battling i'm trying to take things easily and that shouldn't be that shouldn't be so so uh, being honest and trying to open myself to opportunities and this opportunities could be a challenge right so this uh, and and learn how to overcome these challenges and turn them into opportunities also one of the criteria that i would really like to talk about so uh, in challenges come every day is challenging and you know right. you have to accept it overcome these challenges and understand how to really deal with it and i dealt and i dealt with it so i could do it so i think i think i'm i'm open to challenging uh, situation that comes my way i don't hold myself back saying oh my god i got 20 orders today what, what about when i get 40 orders tomorrow yeah. and i'm happy with that because this is something that i've chosen to do and i'm happy about it so so yeah. i think like i said going back to this uh, point of time management so you know this time management will also help me to overcome all of this you know uh, uh, challenges that comes my way to all the viewers i just like to uh, point it out ki trina is actually working alone she is in all the products alone she is doing it all alone and she is doing great because 
it's just a it's just i think it has grown to a company more uh, more of like when you started it was now it's more of a company but you are doing alone and that to managing a job that's really yeah. amazing and so, i think so that i think so happy about it end of the day it's all about you being happy self satisfied is all that it matters and believe me nothing is impossible really yeah. not and if i can do it everybody else can do it you know provided you do something that you li- like to do so Correct. yeah and to all the people like i also want to tell uh, through this ki you know they did this people everyone is actually going through a tough time but don't hold on because you even see trina she is managing a job she is also moving into something uh, positive so i think utilizing your time effectively uh, though they are at home right now uh, so that is i think it's a good thing to do right now and just thinking about uh, what is going on in and around world so i think uh, you know, we can take the questions now because i see a lot of comments coming and mm-hmm. yeah see from the start yeah so uh, yeah it's really motivating by titiman truly said by dipali would definitely li- like to try the product by janavi please do please do some amazing products uh we love love soap by trina amazing natural soaps great okay so i uh, it's a question by oyon uh, i think selling products like soap promotes hygiene which is the need of the r anything you want to add trina i'm i'm sorry i'm just trying to look at the question could you repeat that i yeah. think i think uh, the question is i think selling products like soap promotes hygiene which is the need of the r so you want to add anything absolutely um this is one of the most important uh, you know uh, Uh, products that should add to your daily lives and uh, of course you always have a body wash or a soap inside your bathroom and every time you go to a store the first thing that you pick up is your hair wash your body wash etc etc so um you know some uh, like i said i mentioned in my previous uh, question that you asked me that uh, you know trying to replace your daily needs you know with all of this cosmetic products is what what my intention is and uh, imagine you're surrounded with natural products in, the, in your house that's a different uh, level of feeling that gives you so that is my whole intention and this is what i'm trying to do is uh, trying to add on the natural products all right something that i would really like to tell you is we nowadays we all are conscious about what we eat we all are right, right. we are very conscious about what we eat so i that's when i say if we are conscious about what we eat why can't we be conscious about what we use correct you know uh, using a cosmetic product is something that probably i i i would really not want to do that that's not something that i would want to do to my skin so um so yeah so this this whole uh, you know fact the factor of uh, supporting handmade products that is my whole intention to reach out to people say you know support handmade products use them feel the difference you know your skin will really thank you for you you know you're feeding your skin with natural products i think that's the best thing that you can do to yourself Correct, correct, correct. And also, I'd like to add one more point. That now, after this pandemic, we all have realized how important our health is. Do we mm-hmm. didn't realize? So, I think going natural in everything uh, possible is really uh, good for our health. Uh, so, yeah. So that's why natural products. I'll follow up with other questions. Yeah, good job by Branju. Very well said by Trisha Azarika. Tabasum one eight four. So much proud of you. a uh, great session okay thank you very inspiring so many comments okay. coming in thank you everyone uh, it's really it's really amazing how you have started inspiring by abhishek thank you so much to learn from this session by nandita i am a love soap user and really love the products oh dipali nice uh chocolate tina if i please pardon me if i am taking your wrong uh, name wrongly yay uh, abhijit thank you okay churi bodloi how inspiring lots of love sushmita deka your advices are truly inspiring great initiative natasha inspiring wow nice i think lot of people have i know i'm so glad to read uh, living, all of the comments living your own hobby in such a beautiful ways again it's the so nice well said absolutely positivity pen acha okay kudos 
right about zoom the power of positive thinking by abhishek you are such an inspiration trina dikshita hazari ka hai nice nice amazing product if you have to pamper yourself right about zoom okay so ayon has an interesting question was love soap also a conscious effort to promote hygiene in these circumstances um absolutely yes of course that is one of the medium that i would really want to uh, let people know that uh, maintain self hygiene and that's so important that's so important for everybody and this is what we are dealing with right now your you know maintaining your hygiene so um, yes so this love soap uh, products that i was talking about i would say using cosmetic uh, brands would not help you in maintaining hygiene it would but i um, uh, really want to tell you that uh, you know keep it in a very natural way so yes of course that is that was that is and that will always be my intention amazing amazing i hope i on you got your answer malika borwa wow nice dipshika h i love i love to use your products oh nice that uh, it uh, definitely going to try love soap abhishek customization option really attractive okay nice that was some so cutely packed uh mm-hmm. ritima sweet uh, abhishek always giving extra to your clients great uh, dipshika h candies wow sounds good dikshita hazorika how amazing that was some very well said Uh, the abhishek challenge is an opportunity nice tabassum she is a superwoman i definitely agree tabassum she is oh, thank you so much managing oh, this are all so motivating yeah actually and i i i also completely agree with tabassum here because managing job managing your entrepreneurial venture and also you told about your other hobbies like cooking and all you try different dishes so that's amazing you know that's actually amazing uh alf Oh yeah, we are so much proud of her. Tapasum, Dina Hazarika. Trina is an absolute entrepreneur and a talented professional. Wow, nice. Oyon, inspired by Trina. Trisha Hazarika, inspiring. Oyon, Trina soon will be a brand. Oh, nice. Lahi Mohanto, very inspiring. Uh, we love you. Her soap. Varsha, say kya kolta, inspiring. Her soap smells heavenly. By Trisha Hazarika, it's absolutely high. Trisha Hazarika, I love to use soap. It's amazing. So, broad couple. If we have to look for inspiration, definitely be Trina. Yeah, exactly. I one more thing. I'll agree to it. Uh, Thank Azari, you. Out of you, really a very confident entrepreneur you are. Love you, great Andy. Nice. Uh, Tabassum, she has absolutely raised the bar of handmade products. The fragrance is heaven. Uh, Elton, how can we buy your products? Anything you want to add? um so um uh, you can i have a instagram page and i'm taking orders through instagram i have a website that i'm currently working on and it's going to take a little while so until then you can follow my page you can inbox me you can call me i have my number uh, that i've put up on the page uh, you can also follow me in uh, uh, facebook as love soap and um, you know how are you convenient you can free, you're free to call me any time to place your orders and uh, uh, you know i'm very active in instagram so that's uh, one of the ways that you can really check out my products and order accordingly amazing uh, one more interesting question i think uh, by dikshita hazorika what are love so future plans uh, i'm sorry could you repeat that uh, what dikshita are has asked what are love so future plans future plans all right so um when i say i dream i i want to dream big so um so for now i'm kind of concentrating on the recent uh, concept of new love soap uh, that i've introduced that's a whip soap so um uh, future number one that comes to my mind when i have to talk about the future plans i want to go international and uh, you know there's a lot of research that i have to do uh, it's not as easy as um, you know as i'm dealing with the current situation right now so um that's one of my plans and uh, let's see if i can uh, spread my wings further and come up with lot more exciting varieties you never know <laughs> definitely definitely so, yeah so going international is something that i'm looking at right now that's amazing that's amazing uh dilut pol what motivates you all right so um i'm a self motivator i really don't wait uh, you know pe- uh, people to come and motivate me of course i am surrounded with family members who are very motivating but um, uh, end of the day i am a self motivator i motivate myself 
Amazing, amazing. How many flavors do you have in total by Trisha Azarika? <laughs> All right. So this is something that I would like to share. Um, uh, you know, when I started with my whole love soap concept, um, I just had two varieties. You know, when I started, the first bar that I made was shapeless, and I laughed over it. And I told uh, my family members, "Are you going to buy something like this?" And my husband says, "No, never. Are you serious about it?" So I started with just two varieties, and right now I have about thirty-two varieties. Wow! Of different wow. varieties. So when so you, so, uh, um, so I so I had this whole idea of soap making, you know, from past about two and a half years back, and uh, so uh, you can say um, about two and a half years back, I used to make soaps myself at home, and I used to use it for you know, um, uh, you know, I, till then I did not go public. You know, I think uh, I introduced uh, you know love soap in Instagram only in February. So before that, I used to just make it for myself, and it's been quite a while since I myself stopped using cosmetic products. And I was one among them, genuinely. I'm talking about. So I was one among them who used to use cosmetic products, and I will not deny that. So eventually, when I switched myself to this handmade products, so I realized I think I'm doing uh, justice to myself and justice to my skin. So that's when the importance was felt. And then that's when I realized. So when I use this handmade, uh, you know, soaps that I made for, uh, you know, personal use, um, uh, and I realized uh, why not um, everybody should try this? Why not everybody, you know, use something like this? So I had this confidence, but somewhere I thought, no, I am, uh, I'm, I've not come up to this level where I can say I have, uh, you know, uh, touched perfection. I'm, st I've still not touched perfection, but I say somewhere close to this. So yeah, I started with just two varieties, and I have about thirty-two now. Amazing, amazing. So, <laughs> I have Malika Borwa saying, "Wow, amazing!" This, this, obviously, definitely like to know about your customization options. Abhishek, you can definitely uh, go to her Instagram page. She has a Facebook uh, page as well, and also, even she already mentioned that she can, you know, you can always communicate with her in every medium. So you can. Always go and ask. Uh, can we use it for our hairs? Okay. Um. Uh, uh. Not really. So right now, I'm just kind of concentrating only on the skin care. So um, I will slowly uh, going back to Dikshita's question. I will also maybe not now. This is just a vague vision that I have in my mind. Coming up with hair products sometime soon, but um, uh, but the soaps that I make, uh, uh, I, I would really not suggest to use it for your hair because every different person has different uh, you know types of hair. So you never know; it's really it might work really good for you. It might really not good, uh, you know work uh, for for someone else. So uh, I've not kept the hair types in my mind when I make these products. So I would suggest no. Okay, sure. So, uh, would you like to introduce any other products like body lotion? By question by. Of course. <laughs> yes, um, I would love to. It's something that uh, requires a lot of research. Um, I would definitely do that eventually uh, over a period of time. Uh, I don't know when, but I will. Yes, my answer is yes. Definitely. Considering that we are selling a skincare product, it are, what are what are the various precautions you take for your production? Okay, nice question. By All right. Um, yeah, of course, there are a lot of um, factors that I have to keep in mind. Number one, this whole process of soap making is uh, uh, requires a lot of, uh, you know, attention, uh, especially when you make it, right? Uh, you heat the soap. When you heat the soap, um, a little splash on your skin might burn your skin. So I kind of wear gloves and, uh, you know, the heat of the product should be maintained. It cannot be overheated. It cannot be underheated too. So when so so when this whole product when I'm making this whole process, I have to be so conscious. I have to be so careful that uh, uh, you know that I don't burn my skin. So yeah. So there are a lot of precautions in terms of what I wear when I make the soap. Uh, I take care of all of that. I hope it answers Alton's question. So Subrat Kapoor, one more. Just asking if you have any future plan to launch products. For animals, um, uh, no, I, I haven't thought about it. But um, uh, of course, this is one of your very uh, good ideas that you came up with. That is, that's a very good question. But maybe not now. Maybe not now. Uh, let's see if time permits. 
you, uh, I might, I might, but uh, uh, I would say I'm, I haven't thought about it. Okay, okay. So, Yuzinur, one more good question. What are the main challenges in raising capital? All right, yes. So, um, uh, so I give a lot of importance to saving. All right, so this regular job that you do and raising your capital is uh, one of the biggest, uh, I think, challenges that I came across. Um, uh, when I say, I think uh, time management, I manage time. I set a timeline for myself and I said, this is what I need. And this is the you know, capital that is required for me to even start up the business. So I save a lot. I save a lot and I give importance to saving. I'm not much of a spender. <laughs> so yes, so I think saving, learn to save. Believe me, it will really help you. So, um, so yeah, so it, I, that's how I started uh, through my savings. Nice. So and it's very challenging if you do not save. It's very challenging. So one more good uh, comment by Monachusna Mohanto. Uh, Trina is so articulate. She'll go mines with her initiative. Best wishes. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, what an interesting question by Anekdot Abhijit. Suppose you, if your day in the job was worse, your supervisor was really gave you headlocks. After that, how come you manage your personal dream? I mean, manage to focus on side hustle. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, of course. Uh, every day uh, is not a bed of roses. You know, you have uh, hard times that will come your way when you're professional, when you are, uh, you know, working with an organization. It is not challenging. And uh, in fact, you can count the number of good days you had in a month. So um, I, I always uh, keep professional and personal. When I say personal, I'm talking about love soap. Um, it's all about balancing. You know, you're flex uh, you, you should have a flexible mind Understand how to balance. Never get carried away. Number one. Number two is never ever take things personally. Once you start doing that, you lose all your track on concentrating on all your dreams that you thought of. So, um, so this is what I do. I, I, so nine to six, I'm committed to an organization. Um, you know, um, I might get stinking emails for not achieving my targets. My manager is very harsh on me, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So this nine to six, uh, job that I'm doing, if I'm an emotional person, I'll really feel bad. If I'm somebody who is, uh, you know, doesn't give an impo importance to the emotional part, uh, you know, of it, then uh, they will overcome it. But what I do is uh, I've learned uh, over this period of time. So I've, I ha had this long journey of uh, working with different organizations. So there have been times where you really feel bad and it puts you down. So end of the day, when you look back at those times, did you really get anything out of it? You did not. All that it did is it just took away all of your time feeling bad. So I think, I think this is what life is all about. Don't take anything personally. Uh, you know, let your work part just be nine to six work part of it. Beyond six, it's all about you. Don't think back what happened to your job today. Don't think back what your manager, manager said. So, so always learn to balance. This is what I would really like to share. So I think living in the present, what you meant, like just be in the present Absolutely. moment. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, you can't expect your life to be a bed of roses every day. And, uh, you know, uh, understand. And uh, like I said, I practice gratitude. So, so be grateful to what you have. Uh, end of the day, when you when you have, um, you know, um, times like this, where you really felt something bad about your work, uh, think back uh, and understand how grateful you are to even have a job. There are people who lost their jobs and are still struggling to get a job. Just be thankful to God. You know what? Thank you, God. I have my job. You know, I am. Please make me feel more stronger to deal with such challenges that comes my way. And believe me, all the small little uh, attitude of yourselves that you actually try to inculcate uh, will really make a huge difference. It will. Correct. 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 So. Bonajusta, thanks for conducting this show, Shuman. Well done. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, does love soap suit for dry skin? Chitra Azarika. Absolutely. So, um, uh, so I have my uh, products. Uh, um, uh, you know, I make the products uh, keeping the skin uh, texture in mind. Um, I, not everybody has the same type of skin. So I always kind of uh, make soaps that would suit the different skin types. Of course, I have soaps for dry skin and oily skin as well. Amazing. 
uh, Nilut Paul, uh, considering the time constraint between professional and personal life, who is your inspiration to keep up the positivity? Considering the time constraint between personal and personal. All right. Um, so um, I have uh, m- m- mentioned about this. One of the person who uh, really gives me positivity is my mother. And second thing, undoubtedly, undoubtedly has to be my father. I think he's one of the most busiest person I know in my life. Okay, he is such an inspiration to me, to my entire family, to all my close relatives I know. Everybody looks up to him for a reason that he's so committed to his profession. But end of the day, he comes back home at 11.30 in the night and he would still take out some time to have a short conversation with us. He never makes us feel that, you know what, my profession is, uh, this is what my whole life is all about. And uh, this is what I do. So I think uh, he inspires a lot and he has given a lot of, uh, you know, inspiration in terms of how you manage between, again, professional and personal life. So I look up to my father at any time, any time of the day. Amazing, amazing. So we have come to almost the end of the show. And I'll just say, yeah, any new products in the line, especially in herbal and natural category by Pitam Sagar Bhuragohai? Yes, absolutely. So I, I have this uh, whole, like uh, Ankshuman mentioned, uh, I have this whole new concept of whip soaps that I've come up with. And uh, so these are all herbal and natural products. There are no chemicals used. And uh, so I have this normal soap bars. I have whip soaps, which is a complete, you know, when you take a look at my page, you will uh, have a clear understanding of what exactly I'm talking about. So it's a different form of a soap. So that's something I've come up with. And let's see which time, um, uh, what else can I come up with? Amazing. So it was really, really nice uh, having you on the show, Tina. Thank you uh, for the time because today I, I knew that how busy person you are. Obviously, I knew before, but <laughs> today I realized that you actually don't have time, but you managed to give us such an inspiring story of you, yours. And it was amazing having a conversation with you. So just... At the end, would you like to uh, put across anything to our viewers? To just a more absolutely. Firstly, thank you for having me. It was wonderful connecting with you. And okay. to the viewers, I would really like to thank each and every one of you for such inspiring uh, comments. You know, it's of course inspiring to me, and you know, uh, you know, such lovely comments. And uh, I would really looking forward to connecting with you. And uh, you know, thank you so much for uh, watching us. Um, you know, you took out some time from your busy schedule as well. And, uh, you know, um, something that I would really like to say that dream on and believe that you can do and make it happen. Believe in yourself. Be super positive. Make sure that nothing can bring you down in terms of the circumstances. And uh, find out someone who you really like uh, talking to and who gives you a lot of positivity. That makes a lot of difference to your life. A lot. Thank so you. that's something I really like to say. I've been inspired by you today. It's like entire thing, entire journey of yours and everything. So definitely, I think a lot of our viewers also have known the story. And, you know, it's just amazing. It's also very inspiring. And thank you, Paul. And uh, also, you can find uh, Trina in her Instagram page, Facebook page to try Love Soap. And uh, it's something... She has created on this time, on a difficult times. And I think we should all uh, actually try something new, obviously. And thank you, Trina, so much. Thank you, everyone, thank uh, for joining. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And one last thing that I really want to share with you guys, for everybody, okay? Something which I really practice. Four Ps of life. What are four Ps? Patience, precautions, um, let's say, perseverance, and uh, uh, prepare. This four Ps, uh, please follow diligently and prepare yourself for anything and everything that comes to your way. And thank you, Amshuman, for uh, conducting such a lovely show and giving us a platform uh, for entrepreneurs like us, giving us a platform to share our views. It was wonderful connecting with you. You're doing an amazing job and I wish you all the very best. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, viewers. Thank you, Trina. And please, please be healthy, guys. Take care. Absolutely. See you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye.